Can't wait to show you the tour of our room, which is we are in the castle. We have an oceanfront swim out suite. So we are in 10:58, and let's go, vamos! So I already love the bathroom because it is completely private and separate from the other areas. A lot of these other resorts are doing this open bathroom bedroom concept that I just don't like. Now the bathtub could be a downside. It is on the smaller side. Also, it's not like out on a balcony with beautiful views. That didn't really affect me. I really don't use the bathtub that much, but it might be important to you. It does have the double sinks, which I love, a lot of counter space, all of the amenities that you could need. Here I'm talking about a flat iron or a curling iron, which honestly I wouldn't even bother bringing because it is so humid there. I couldn't even get a curl in my hair. So I brought my, my uh, curling iron and I could never even curl it. It also has a separate shower and separate toilet area as well, which I love. The shower was a little bit on the smaller side compared to some of the other resorts. And this is an older resort, but being in the castle, one thing that I loved was it kind of was rustic. So nothing really seemed old to us. They do have updated fixtures and the water pressure and everything worked great in the shower. And I love the separate toilet because while someone's showering, someone can use the bathroom in private. So I really did love the whole setup of the bathroom, despite that the bathtub was a little bit small and some of the fixtures were a little bit older, but it just goes with the whole castle theme and decor, which you're going to see in just a moment. Wait till you see the rest of the room. And it had a whole walk-in closet. So tons of room for your clothes. I know this is a huge honeymoon spot, so a lot of people spend more than seven days here. You know, it might bring a lot of different clothes and there is enough space for all of that. There is an iron, also the typical safe in there as well. Now this room was huge, which I loved and there was tons of space in the living room and in the bedroom area. And I loved all the decor that they had. It really matched, you know, the theme of the castle. And you felt just like you were maybe in your own home. Like you felt like you were actually in a house, which I really, really loved. Over here is the mini bar section. And it's a good time to talk about the water. I think most people know, do not drink the tap water ever. Even when brushing your teeth, you should use this bottle of filtered water and they will bring you as much as you want. Especially when you're making the coffee, they have here a coffee machine. You always wanna use the filtered water. If you need ice, the butler will get you ice, basically get you anything that you want. Now here is the mini bar mini fridge. This is kind of one downside. They really only have uh, beer, water, and sodas. However, the butler will get you whatever you want. So if you want snacks, if you want something else in the room, we actually bought our own bottle of liquor at the airport after watching some videos. So I definitely suggest that because he will bring you drinks, but they won't, it won't be a full size bottle of liquor. And the bedroom area was equally as beautiful. I love the decor, the big chunky blanket, and everything just felt very solid. The walls felt very solid. Maybe it was just the mental thing of being in the castle, but it was very quiet as well. And we didn't really hear too much. Sometimes up ahead, you could hear some people moving furniture, but it wasn't late at night or really early in the morning. They also had a TV in the room and it did have a lot of channels. If you follow me, you know, I really don't watch TV while I'm on vacation, but definitely they at least had something there. If you are a TV watcher or a movie watcher, they had a lot of different options. One little issue I would say was the plugs in the bedside table really didn't charge the phones or our computer. So we had to use some of the outlets on the floor, which again, wasn't the biggest deal in the world. Also with the lights, you have to insert the room key. There's a slot right by the door to get the lights to work. So that took um, a little bit to figure out. And it's a good time to mention that there are no bracelets here, which I actually prefer. You use a room key, um, which I know you have to keep track of it. So that would be something hopefully they could get to a digital key maybe in the future. Uh, but I love that you don't have to worry about wearing a bracelet. And also just when you go to the restaurants, you just give them your room number. Now it's time to show you the outside and it's so beautiful. And normally I don't go for the swim out suite. 
One, because I really like to be higher up. I love that ocean view. And two, I tend to have reactions to chlorine. However, these pools are saltwater pools here in the castle. So I definitely wanted to try it because I love the idea of waking up and just being able to get right into the water. Now, 1058 was the very last suite, which did have some advantages. One is you only have one room next to you to the right. To the left is a restaurant, but it's only open at night. It's not very loud at all. And most people are inside dining anyway. However, we wanted to be closer to the ocean. So we did request to change our room and we got very lucky because there was a suite open that was closer to the ocean, which is 1050. So we're gonna show you that room as well. Now the size and the layout of the room is exactly the same. The difference really was just the view from the outside. We liked being closer to the ocean, seeing more of the ocean and having that little access closer to the beach. Now there really is no beach over there. So let me tell you that it's not a beach that you sit on. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of that in a bit and you can't really swim in the ocean, but we just liked the view a lot better. One other note is that there's one suite to the right that does not have an outdoor area with furniture. Again, you can't request rooms, but you can ask them to put in the notes that you want um, one of the suites that has outdoor furniture, or maybe that doesn't matter to you because then you'll have the one closest to the ocean. The water is very cold, so it's not a heated pool. And someone also asked about the noise level and it's very quiet. We probably use the pool more than anyone else that I saw, and you do have access to the whole pool. So um, you can swim up and down, which I did one day, and actually all of the suites are able to use this pool, but no one really did. The only people that used it were the people that were staying right there in the swim out suites. And here's the small section of beach I talked about as well. Now, if you are considering staying in this section, I'm gonna do a complete separate video about this room. We also got to tour another room in Oceanfront Honeymoon Suite and show you more of the property and grounds. So definitely be on the lookout for that. So if you see there to the left, it looks like a little hut. Well, that was actually a bar and restaurant that belonged solely to the castle section that was destroyed in the hurricane. So they are planning on rebuilding this little area and making it really nice, which would be a great addition to the castle section. Um, also, they are currently building like a little pier out. With that being said, there was a little construction going on during the day. You could hear them sawing. So it didn't bother us at all, but I figured it was worth mentioning. And be sure to check out all of the videos that we do about the Sanctuary Capcana, including the full honest review.